Hello everybody, Shinigaming here, and today I'm going to be going over some basic information for the Brigantine, the latest ship added to Sea of Thieves. The Brigantine is a mid-sized ship, and is slightly larger than the sloop. In fact, it is significantly larger than the sloop, but it is also much smaller than the galleon. The Brigantine is ideal for a three-player crew, but can be sailed with fewer party members. You cannot have four players in a party on a sloop. The sloop has two masts, equaling two sails. Two of the controls for the sails are back here in the back, the sail length and the sail angle. The other two are midship right here. There are four cannons on the brigantine, two on each side. The anchor is up front, as opposed to on the sloop being in the back. The anchor also takes a little bit longer to raise, especially with one person, it takes significantly longer. But if you have two or three people, it will speed up the raising of the anchor. It takes more than a full turn. Let me take that back. It takes, it takes one full turn to raise the anchor. and one full turn to lower the anchor. There are two lanterns up front and one in the back. These three lanterns are the only lanterns visible to other players on the seas at night. Unlike the sloop, none of the barrels are located up on deck. All of them are below deck. There are three cannonball barrels, each with 15, whereas the sloop had 20 but only two barrels. So the sloop only starts with 40 cannonballs. The brigantine starts with 45. There's one wood barrel in the center with 15 planks, the same as the sloop. And the food barrel is further in with also 15 bananas, the same as the sloop. The map is up in the very front of the ship underneath that you can use to find out where you are. It is also visible through this grate from up above, so you don't always have to run below decks if you're just wanting to quickly check at the map. The vanity chest, clothing chest, and equipment chest are all located on the left side of the ship underneath the deck. The grog barrel is on the right hand side for those of you wanting to get drunk. The ammo chest is here just at the bottom of the stairs to the right, and the armory to change weapons is also on the right. In the back of your ship, this chest looks like it could be something, but is not. The captain's bed and the proposed voyage table are back here. One thing I dislike about the Brigantine is often when you're attacked from the rear, holes will appear on this side of the voyage table. Those, you cannot reach them from over here to repair them, and so you actually have to walk around or jump over and you can't actually jump over actually. Also, holes will often form in the back here, and these are not often visible immediately and are harder to see. However, the Brigantine is still very maneuverable compared to the Galleon, but just not quite as much as the Sloop. It's kind of a mid-range for everything. Now, the ladder to get up into the crow's nest is a little bit taller, the crow's nest is also a little bit taller. As you can see, there are two sails on this one mast. And up here we have another bell, just like the sloop, and a ship flag box, just like the sloop. Sorry, with the same options. All right, everybody, that is all I have for now on the Brigantine. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this. I will see you guys next time. Shinigaming out.